So today we're gonna be going through Kazuo's story quest because apparently his mirage in the recent event wasn't enough. It's been a while since we first set foot on Inazuma. So many things have happened since then. It's all in the blink of an eye. I can't believe that it's been a year since we started here. So where should we go today? Wait a moment. Oh, he's sensing something. Huh? Oh lord, wait, they got a big, like, glowy sword. Oh my. Ow. Wait. Why does he fight like he's. So you don't have a vision after all. Seems like I've mistaken you for someone else. At the very least, you should make sure you've got the right person before you go attacking them. <laughs> have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? He looking for Kazuha? Oh, no, we got to fight now. We got to make sure you don't get anywhere near Kazuha. He carries a sword just like you. I've also heard that he possesses an animal vision. What you looking for him for? Are you trying to score up? That's none of your business. Uh, <sighs> never mind. You don't look like you know anything anyway. I'm wasting my time. Huh? What the heck is this? What a weirdo. Coming around here waving that weird sword in our faces, and he didn't even apologize. Seems like a real nutcase. What a weirdo, dude. Wait, I just realized that he started attacking us because we look like Kazuha. Our models look very similar. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. No way are we telling him anything about Kazuha. Very smart for once. Hey, don't be mean. I'm on smart lots of the time. Yeah, like when? We should go fight Kazuha right away and tell him to watch his back. I have a hunch. What kind of hunch? I think this guy may have a special connection to Kazuha. A special connection? You mean beyond already knowing each other? I feel like their fighting styles are kind of similar. Was he a part of the Katahara clan? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe a little. But then again, most people look pretty much the same once they start fighting, so that doesn't really prove anything. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's go tell Kazuha so we won't get into any danger. We're all walking around with cursed swords. We really in an anime right now. You're looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. Two? <laughs> well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time... As soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumans, all of them wanting to know about Kazuha. What? Oh, he popular now? Oh, I see. If it's because of that battle on Nizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too, but I don't see her getting this kind of attention. Oh, okay. Oh, so you still don't know what he did. <laughs> I've heard bits and pieces. It's something about him blocking the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. Oh yeah, that's right. He did do that. How could I completely forget about his biggest achievement? <laughs> he was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. So our boy's Mr. Popular now. Uh-huh. Nah, he probably not even interested in that in the slightest. That dude is so nonchalant. Kazuo is the kind of guy that every humble and nonchalant dude thinks they look like. Greetings. We were just discussing the repealing of the Vision Hunt Decree. Since you're here, you're very welcome to listen in on the conversation. I like how the story quest is supposed to come right after we've defeated the Raiden Shogun. We invited Mr. Kaidahara here to extend a gesture of goodwill on behalf of the Shogunate. The Almighty Shogun has issued a large array of directives aimed at resolving, or at least easing, the tensions that have built up over the years. The Tri Commission has made the recommendation to use this opportunity to restore the honor of the Kaidahara name. In short, there was once a group of select bladesmiths who served the Shogun directly, responsible for upholding and further developing the traditional blade forging arts of the Almighty Shogun. The Kaidahara clan belonged to this class. Okay. But there came a time when some of these bladesmiths revolted and fled to Snezhnaya. Snezhnaya? Both the Kaidahara and Kamisato clans were held accountable oh. for lax oversight and entered a period of great turmoil. Oh. We later learned that the whole misadventure had been secretly orchestrated by the Fatui. Attributing all of the blame to the Kamisato and Kaidahara clans was neither proper nor just. Considering Mr. Kaidahara has once more made an outstanding contribution to Inazuma, the Almighty Shogun believes he should not only be rewarded for his achievements, but also receive recompense for the excessive punishment borne by his clan in the okay. past. Okay. Alright, so you're receiving, like, payment for, for basically <laughs> being slandered. This is a true honor. 
I am delighted to be in a position to receive the goodwill of the Almighty Shogun, and the Shogunate at large. However, would I be correct to assume that this magnanimous gesture does not come without some strings attached? Ooh, there's a catch? I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. We seek only to correct a past injustice. Okay. With the Kaidahara clan's reputation and occupation restored, the Kaidaharas will be bladesmiths once more. And your wanderings will finally come to an end. <laughs> That's not what he wants, though. <laughs> you will be able to lead a safe and prosperous life in Inazuma City with the almighty Shogun's blessing and full support of the Shogunate. That bro don't want that. It's <laughs> I have grown accustomed to life among the elements. I fear I would no longer feel at home behind the tall walls of a stately abode. Yet my ancestors did indeed take great pride in the name of Kaidahara, and the art of blade making for which it stood. I do have a responsibility to restore their honor. Mm. Should you accept this offer, I imagine many of the malicious rumors currently circulating through the populace will disappear. Malicious rumors? All we heard on the way here was so much praise that we almost wondered whether there was another Kaidahara Kazuha in town. <laughs> well, to some, the Musa no Hitotachi is something that can never be defeated. They cannot accept the idea that Mr. Kaidahara really parried the Shogun's strike. Also, eyewitnesses saw him using the power of Electro in addition to that of Animo. As a result, the falsehood that Kaidahara Kazuha was using a delusion began to spread. Oh, Yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. This is just one of many similar rumors. I am very uncomfortable with being the subject of public discussion, no matter whether it brings suspicion or stardom my way. Understandable. But perhaps if the Shogunate is willing to publicly support me, this situation will blow over more quickly. So this is gonna be about restoring Kazuo's reputation? Please allow me some time to consider. In fact, let us put this discussion on hold for the moment. Why would such a dangerous individual be looking for me? Uh, could it be someone you train with? No. This puzzles me as much as it does you. My fighting forms were taught to me by my family based on techniques originally developed for blade testing. We undergo rigorous training to standardize every motion the blade is put through so that each can be fairly assessed for quality. Uh -huh. Over time, these techniques came to form something of a Kaidahara sword art, focused on blade testing, but with a full repertoire of combat forms. Dang. Those forms are quite different from the more practical ones typically used by samurai in battle. So it's hard to imagine that the similarity you speak of was coincidence alone. I must say, I am now very curious about this matter, and I will also need some time to consider your offer. I will first join the Traveler in investigating the one who attacked him, then give you a conclusive answer upon my return. Okay. Let's see what Ryuji has to say! Who is Ryuji again? I have- there's so many names in this town, oh my. Do you know if anyone around here has been looking for him? Uh, for Kaidahara Kazuha, we mean. <laughs> uh, that's very vague. <laughs> Basically, everyone, Paimon. We are currently investigating an assault and would appreciate any help you can offer. Mr. Kaidahara is currently the talk of the town, so there are always a lot of people looking for him. To be honest with you, our detective agency has recently been receiving many inquiries from people wishing to obtain Mr. Kaidehara's personal information. What? <laughs> Wait. Some of them were offering us millions of mora just to get the information they want. If these were more legitimate commissions, Songo would have snapped them up in an instant. Yo, what? Uh, imagine people requesting millions of dollars for your information. It's not even like we're in like the internet age where you're trying to advertise shit to him. It's literally just like they're trying to get info on him for whatever reason. M millions of Mora? Whoa. Oh, wait. Even at that price, you probably still shouldn't. D Paimon was definitely thinking about selling Kazuha to someone. Have there been any other attacks or similar incidents recently that stand out as particularly unusual? The Tenryo Commission had very few leads. I thought you might have some information from different sources. It's true that the commissioners aren't clued up about every little thing that goes on out in the streets. But typically, it's only the most trivial events that manage to escape their attention. If anyone had been out there attacking people, that would be assault, in which case the Tenryo Commission would absolutely get involved. Okay. That, oh, that does make sense. 
<laughs> Why does it sound like she was about to get mad? I still find it difficult to believe that whoever attacked you hasn't been causing any trouble elsewhere. Few people possess your prowess in battle. So unless you were the first person he targeted, someone is certain to have been hurt by now. Uh, is this your way of giving praise? I am well aware of your talents. There is no need to be humble around me. In fact, I'm quite relieved that you were the one he targeted. Really? Wait. It would cause me great grief to see someone become critically injured or lose their life because of me. Ah, true. There was one strange incident over the last few days. Recently, two people went missing from the city at around the same time. One of them is a pretty well-known collector surnamed Nagato. The other, Amenoma Yuya, is a samurai from the Amenoma clan. Two grown men going missing at the same time. Hmm. I recalled this because Amenoma Yuya is also an accomplished martial artist who is skilled with the blade. Perhaps he is the one you are looking for. Understood. Though it seems highly unlikely to me. I neither know this man, nor do I have any idea why he may wish to attack me. Let's consider this a favor for Ryuji. Thank you, Ryuji. We'll start by making some inquiries at the Amenoma Smithy. If it isn't Kaida Harakazuha. What brings you here today? Huh? You two know each other? Yes. The Kaedahara and Amenoma clans were both members of the Raiden Gokaden. Oh. You may recall the story of the Raiden Gokaden from the Iridori Festival. Mm-hmm. I-I'm just kidding. I-I don't remember. My brain is like... If you didn't fight it. There is nothing mystical to our work. There is only practice. Day in and day out. Until both body and mind have memorized the craft, turning each motion of every technique into an intrinsic part of the bladesmith's life. It sounds kind of cool. As for the art of the Kaidehara clan, I believe it's called the Ishin art. I feel like we've heard that name before. Ishin art strives for complete harmony between blade and mind from the moment that forging begins. You are, without a doubt, the most worthy wielder of an Ishin blade. So does this mean that that curse blade that dude was wielding is a representation of like what they were feeling? You overestimate me. My actions are guided by my own personal sentiments, not by any noble aspirations on behalf of my clan. But let's get back on topic. The purpose of our visit today is to gather some information on your missing nephew. He didn't say a word before he left. Which is very unlike him. I'm still completely at a loss on what to make of it. Aww. We heard that there was a collector involved in the disappearance too. Know anything about that? Yes. On the morning that Yuya went missing, he gave me a very cryptic look and said that he was going to give me a great gift. A great gift. Very suspicious. I believe he went to collect the item from Mr. Nagato uh after that. The next thing I heard was that a fire had broken out at the warehouse, and neither of them came back. Mm. So there's definitely something going on between those two. Do you have any thoughts on what Yuya may have wanted to give you? If I had to guess, it must have been some kind of rare weapon. Otherwise, there would have been no reason for him to get my hopes up. True. He's never been particularly interested in blade forging, but has always had a fondness for blade testing, and can sense even the most minute differences in blade quality. Man, English is hard. Why does one word need to have two different meanings and two different ways to say it? Minute, minute. The person we are looking for he attacked this friend of mine. Based on the evidence we have gathered so far, only Yuya seems to match the suspect's profile. What? Yeah. No. Absolutely impossible. Uh-oh. Yuya is not that kind of person. I'm sorry, my man, but your son is a criminal. He is humble and kind. Even his training is done with the goal of calming his mind. He has never gotten into a fight before. Yeah, yeah, they say that with dozens of other serial killers, too. Mm -hmm. But... With that said, it's equally out of character for him to just disappear with neither farewell nor fair warning. I also cannot know what course of action he might be capable of if coerced or otherwise compelled by circumstances unbeknownst to me. From the sound of that, 
Paimon doesn't think Yuya was the one who attacked us as well. We still need to get info from the Nagato family. I'm very sorry, but we cannot afford to pay what we owe right now. No, I'm not a debt collector, trust me. <laughs> I'm not here for your money. No, no, you misunderstand us. We are here to help with the investigation. We'd like to ask you some questions about Mr. Nagato's disappearance, if we may. Ah, oh, I see. I thought the debt collectors had come to visit again. We evade taxes here. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Ever since I've known him, he's been an avid collector of all sorts of things. Maybe he went into debt trying to collect too many things? He'd always get so animated when he was showing them to me. I knew nothing about the items myself, but seeing how enthusiastic and excited they made him, I was happy to believe that they were just extremely important to him. Everything was fine when we first got married, but as time went by, things changed for the worse. He started buying more and more things, and even resorted to borrowing money just so he could pay for them. So he got addicted to collecting stuff? Addiction is no joke. Our expenses really spiraled out of control when he started getting interested in weapons. It was awful. There were days when he'd spend hours down at the warehouse, admiring his weapons even as debt collectors were descending upon our house. He wouldn't sell them, wouldn't even touch them. Just sat there staring at them like he was in a trance. This sounds like a divorce waiting to happen. I'm happy he has a hobby and I'm willing to support him. But making ends meet has to come first. I've tried talking to him about it so many times, but he never listens. On the last day that I saw him, I gave him an ultimatum. I said, if he refused to sell his collectibles and pay off his debts, oh. I would divorce him and oh. take the children with me. <laughs> well, like I said. <laughs> After I said those words, he froze. Oh. He was silent for a long time. When he finally spoke, he awkwardly mumbled that he would pick out a few items to sell. His voice was so meek and pitiful that I felt an urge to take everything back. But then what? If I didn't draw the line, what would happen to our family? It's very important to set boundaries. Fellas, take notes. The next thing I heard was that our warehouse had caught fire, and both he and the buyer had gone missing. Yeah, nah, I would divorce this man instantly, but that's their personal choice, honestly. At first, I assumed they must have gotten into an argument over the price, but my husband has never been one to negotiate. He never even haggles when he's out buying groceries, so it's hard to imagine him getting into a fierce argument. Perhaps he's too afraid to come home now that all his collectibles have been lost in the fire and he's got no way to pay off our debts. <sighs> even though I'm still a little mad at him, we're a family and I want us to face our family's crisis together. Mm. If collecting things is a habit that Mr. Nagato had his whole life, it is quite unusual for this habit to change so drastically over a short period. But the information we gathered from the other side suggests Amenoma Yuya is also a mild-mannered man who would not be likely to start an argument. Let's try a change of scenery and see if we can piece together what we've learned. Rest assured, we'll notify you if we find anything. I'm not even going to cap, he sounds like a serial killer. The fire at the warehouse likely played a part in how the situation unfolded, though its exact role is a mystery. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, um, well, Pina was thinking that maybe someone accidentally knocked over <laughs> an oil lamp and... <laughs> oh, um, Aww. Nope, never mind. Pina's <laughs> brain needs to rest for a while. Over to you. <laughs> <laughs> One fact that I keep coming back to is that Amenoma Yuya is polite and well-mannered, while Mr. Nagato is introverted and passive. Neither seems like the type of person who is inclined towards initiating conflict. True. Mr. Nagato, being heavily in debt, is also the only one of them with the potential motive to disappear after the fire. Although the time frame seems to broadly match, no other details that we've learned seem to link the two events together. Amenoma Yuya lacks a key distinguishing feature of the attacker, namely that he is principally a practitioner of the blade testing techniques of Amenoma art, not those of the combat-oriented Ishin art. Darn! You know, it kind of makes sense, but Maybe that's just me. Let's head out of the city and check out the warehouse. 
there's still a chance we may be able to find some shreds of evidence. Wait. I hear something ominous in the wind. Uh-oh. Wait, he's here. Oh! This must be another one of those sounds that only you can hear. <laughs> now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. But there's nothing here. <laughs> Boy smelling some barbecue out in the distance or something. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma. The remnants of the Tatarigami. Tatar, Tatar, Tatarigami. We should remain vigilant and approach slowly. Huh. So it's an underground warehouse. Wait, so has this been under here this entire time? Judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude that the Tatarigami source resided here for a very long time. Could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatarigami energy at that time. So, surely someone would have noticed that, right? From what I've been told, Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters. Mm. But most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Ah, so that makes more sense. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, amassing more and more possessions, even as he put himself in grave debt. Yeah, that would make sense. Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. Alright, go ahead. That's dangerous. Nah, go ahead. That's, uh, better you than me. Hmm. It looks like the fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. So it was just a scare? That was too scary! Paimon was so sure that the warehouse boogeyman was about to jump out at us! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two ordinary humans, entangled with the Tatarigami. I fear much misfortune has already befallen them. I wonder what Tatarigami smells like. Do we smell- do we stink? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep using Geo Traveler for this? I cannot see a single thing. I need to stop using Geo Traveler when I do these missions. Ooh, look at this red stuff. What is it? Paimon, that's blood. By the looks of it, a letter written on a piece of torn clothing. Let's take a look. Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, eventually stopping here to write this letter when his strength gave out. He was not only mortally wounded, but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters, and I'm afraid he may no longer be with us. No, 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 no. That's so bad. Wait a minute. How are we going to tell his wife? I have a hypothesis that, if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. Oh, he's here. Show yourself. It's no use hiding anymore. His voice completely changed. Haide Harakazua. Oh, it's him. It's you, at last. What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazua? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Amenome Yuya that stands before us. But what if instead of facing Amenome Yuya... We are, in fact, facing the blade in his hand. For sure. The blade is obviously cursed with the, the Tatarigami. Tatarigami energy often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, mm. affecting his state of mind and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy, Amenoma Yuya's body. 
Dang, so Nagato literally just had a cursed sword in his collection. Dang, so Nagato just got unlucky. Wow. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. Not being able to forge a sword for the uh, Raiden Shogun? I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. Yeah. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. Mm. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. Yet yeah, you still didn't end up in the Raiden Shogun's hands. Ah! <laughs> he not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. So, swords can become conscious and control people? I guess. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. Damn, this sword's smart, too. <laughs> I seek but one thing. To face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade uh and prove my power. The might of Isin art. Oh. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens oh, to them? Oh, no. They are but tools that serve my mission. Oh, so we've got a serial killer in the form of a blade. When they got tired or injured or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're... <laughs> After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun. <laughs> As if he's gonna take you. Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, give your body over to me! This is a very roundabout way to say you're an incel, man. Ow. That hurts. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> That hurt. A lot. Do not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too. Try me. Your bluff's fooling no one. You've lost. Lost? I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. How is that even possible? By any means necessary and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny! Whoa, calm down, whoa, Jamal. Whoa, whoa. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> your fighting style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Ooh, Kazuo about to hit him with words. Oh, here we go. Talk no jutsu. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded uh. ambition. <laughs> you believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? I don't know, maybe because you suck. If you know all of the Ishin Art's secrets, then how come you can't beat me? <laughs> because all of that is in the past. 
I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner, you weren't biding your time. You were trapped. Uh-huh. Wait, what? After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles, did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. So he's saying this sword weak as hell. <sighs> and what of it? Well, that brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition, whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew. And the more you wished to run from the truth. Hmm, so even these swords have ambitions. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal. Ow. You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? True. Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Get his ass! Get his ass, Kazuha! Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life stream and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. <laughs> Get his ass, Kazuha. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. And just wait until he blocks him. It's pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. <laughs> I want Ether to just like smack the sword out of his hand like right now. <laughs> I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet and I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands. Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Uh-huh. What about me? Fight me. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Amenoma Yuya from your control. I don't think he's gonna do that, but we could see. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! This is the only way to save Amenoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Aminoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for him. <laughs> he has absolutely no obsessions. But even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. I... Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now, take me in your hand.
All right, let's see if you really do have no interest in anything. You good, bro? Uh, I'm okay. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. If something feels off, let me know, bro. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> we gotta do a commission real quick. Since the Takasukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. I should fit the bell. The blade says he'll let Aminoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. This is a good idea. Oh, that is pretty far. Dang. <laughs> good thing I can teleport. Bye bye. The the birds come. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could wish for him. Though he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me. He is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Maybe this is him trying to finally learn how to use the Ishin art. Actually, what are the stats of this sword? Base attack, 510, attack percentage, secondary stat? Really? Okay. The, wind moves. the AoE is nice, though. I can sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. He could probably kill Yuya, though, before he dies. But what would that do to Aminoma Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. Clouds high. The birds call! He did. Yes, and it looks like he's reached his limit. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. He did. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? Is this the same what? blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! <laughs> no way we gonna have to use that from now on. If you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi. Much less the almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged. But the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. Will he listen to you though? I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. Oh, damn. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Damn. Here they are. Take them down. Uh-oh. Ah, where do they keep coming from? You shouldn't fight with his blade anymore, dude. Yep, yep. We can help this time. Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Got him. You fought way better with your own sword. You are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. A loser? I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor and without proper maintenance. I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Aw, oh, man. So we're not going to be able to get a cool sword? Man, I don't even want to use this anymore. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Actually... This is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. 
This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. There is something else I must tell you. Though your Maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Uh huh. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. Mm. It is the true source of your despair. Wow, that's kind of deep. So does that mean that the person that forged this blade ended up being cursed by the Tatarigami? He gave me everything. My life. My form, my consciousness, and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, Do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Yeah, I saw crying. <laughs> that boy shedding tears. I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna snack. He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. Mm. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. Oh, so the real ambition was just to get the sword home. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as Blade and Smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. This Blade has committed unforgivable atrocities. But only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. Dang, so it's just a misunderstood sword. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. Yeah, you kind of you, you kind of failed on all parts, buddy. Must suck to suck. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? It has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Ame no Mayuya as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Um, he's probably gonna say yes, because he's just that nice of a guy. Let's hear it. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me 
that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. Well, sucks to suck. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. But who are we going to be fighting, though? I will release Ame no Mayuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. You must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. <laughs> his voice shades too. <laughs> I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Terrio Commission. So at least we managed to save someone, but I feel like it's going to be very tragic to have to break the news to, uh, uh, you know, the wife. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art. Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. What if I just honor this fight by not using my vision at all? Nah, that would take too long. Sorry. As one with wind and cloud. This dude is super strong. He has not been knocked down once. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. Really? I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness, nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. Dang, Kazo, your voice got deep. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaidehara Kazua. I beseech you, please understand this. Yes. I too trust Mr. Kaedahara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma Art. Respect. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. This sword really ended up being just a misunderstood villain. <laughs> a prized Ishin blade, turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity, but I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Wait, what? Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Oh, so there is a happy ending. And now that Yuya is back... It seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. <laughs> for a brief moment, huh? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. <laughs> Guess there's nothing we can say to change your mind, huh? Well, uh, I trust you, at least. I'm pretty sure Kazuha would have the willpower to take himself back. Okay, I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. 
Ooh, cutscene time. My power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything. Okay. You mean? Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> okay. So the sword is sacrificing itself. How did this sword learn to use a vision? You were right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishii art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. <laughs> Look at his purple eyes. Ishii Bonk. <laughs> and its finest hour is Bonk. to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishii blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands. Huh. It will still fulfill his final wish. Okay, I see. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it, yet it remains strong in my mind. Before you die, what's your name? Kagotsurube Ishii. Dang! It's now yours. Sheesh! Hmm. Rest in peace. That's a sick sword right there. Wow. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down he disapproved of his own actions and thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another? Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. Hmm, true. Remnants of defeated gods are nothing to scoff at. <laughs> Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the Vision Hunt Decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is you lack aspirations. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Kazuha. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. I'll hold you to your word. Shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. <laughs> I was worried what this was going to be like because we got a lot of lore during his mirage in the event. But I would, I would actually say that this quest is actually really good. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. That's good. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. That's actually a very cool looking blade. Too bad its stats don't really hold up to it though. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomi. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well. I can understand. 
then let's pretend this offer was never raised. Yeah. <laughs> However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Let the wind lead. 